Yo, all right, everybody, we are here today with a different kind of banger, one to partake in a moment of serenity. Serenity now! This right here is Panorama. Now, at first glance, especially due to its recent success, it's easy to see Panorama as another dwarf romantic. And personally, that's not a bad thing. However, Panorama falls between dwarf romantic, I would say, and islanders. Zen-like building of huge landscapes at your own pace with a quest to reward you for strategic placing and building. Biomes that you create continue to evolve with monuments that you unlock through prerequisite structures. The biggest difference lies in Panorama being the ultimate pickup and go experience due to its score-based nature. You don't have to invest too much time in your runs, but your last high score and those of others online will always give you something to aim for. That said, if you enjoy what you see here today, check out the provided link down below in the description to check out Panorama for yourself. Full release, now available on Steam. Let's go. Alright everybody, that's said and done, it's time for us to dive into the world of Panorama. Let's go into a new game. Now, there is a tutorial, but you know, this is a very simple game that even I could understand it. So you let the Birdman teach you. At the moment, we're aiming for 50 points. So what 50 points will do, it's going to kind of recharge our deck over here. Our deck right now has currently 40 cards, or let's say 40 tiles. Once these tiles run out, and you got nothing else coming in, that's it, buddy. Bang. So here we have a grass tile. Grass tiles are kind of like your jack of all trades. They synergize with everything pretty well. But early on, you kind of want to stick it together, right? So for instance, we have a forest tile. We're going to put another forest tile right there. It gives me a plus two. We have a rock one, right? So if I put a rock one here next to forest, suddenly it's plus one. If, uh, say, grass would have been a rock one, it would have been plus two. So obviously you want to kind of keep things together, but you're eventually going to be able to break off, especially with the next tile coming up here. For now, though, let's make sure that our rock area is maybe going down this way. This one has got three different faces, so it just works wherever, baby. It just works. Now here we have a, a quest or a sub-quest tile. This one you could place wherever you want, obviously. But in order for us to get this um, reward, we need to get at least three farming tiles around this entire four tile set here. So we don't have any water. We kind of did over here, right? So I could put that there, sure. However, keep in mind, if I rotate this little bad boy over here, what would we have over there? Well, we had some farms. So suddenly, we put this down. Instead of uh, needing three farmlands around us, we just need one. So we'll do that. We got some Rockies over here. Again, I'm going to keep all the Rockies together. Water and uh, forest, right? So let's go ahead and rotate you like so. I kind of want to keep the water flowing through this side. And we got grass. Remember, grass is jack of all trades. So if you don't necessarily have a little grass dude over here, you can just put a grass on right there. Or a, a, a farm one, I should say. I keep wanting to call it a weed and then farm. But as you can see, we do have a weed one coming up right now, or the farm one, so I could place that over there. So right now, if I want to put this somewhere else, I could, but to be honest with you, at plus 27. And that's going to give us our very first structure. So, I'll explain structures here pretty soon. But at the moment, let me just go ahead and put the... Actually, you know what? Don't do that just yet. And by the way, we're so, there's also an undo button here, which lets you go back, I believe, like eight spots, so in case you critically mess up and you're like, oh no, this was coming up. You can kind of undo a couple of turns, not everything, but a couple. Let's come over here and look at our structure. So we have a barn, we have a small tree on rocks and we have the hillside airship. Barn will instantly upgrade, give you a little 10 times bonus to farmland. And then the small tree rocks is just the forest and then the hillside airship, which is one of my favorites because it starts kind of like, you know, doing little trips back and forth, bringing people over. Expands the tile placement space by one. So over here, what we're looking for, and this isn't really too bad to be honest with you. We're going to want to put rock, rock, grass, and forest. And as you can see over here, since we have grass, let me rotate it for you. Um, it'll synergize pretty well. And I put this here because since we have rocks here, it'll synergize with that as well. So always keep your synergies in mind when you're placing these things around. So this will be farmland, farmland, grassy boy right there. And then we'll just place this forest now there. And place you through there. 
Okay. Now, grass, you, you see me. Once I start flowing, believe me, I get into it. I get into it. That's the reason why at the start, let's explain things because once my brain starts to popping, there ain't no stopping me, boys. So, let's see. I think this, uh, gonna be a plus five no matter what, right? We'll place it like that. And then our last stone. There is our hillside diorama. And what this did, it gave us more expansion for growth. You know how we were basically rolling with only like one roll around everything we had? Now we expanded by one. So that's the upside of this dude over here. And we have another mini structure. This one's going to require three water. Luckily for us, what have we been doing over here? Leaving spots open at all times for that. And guess what? Just by placing it down over here, we've completed it. This is the reason why you don't necessarily want to enclose off spaces that you're building, right? So for instance, over here, I might want to put another water to keep this entire water thing going for any future synergies coming up. So for the meantime, though, before I place this one down, let's see our next structure that we have unlocked here. We have the small forester's lodge. We have the local cafe. We have a hillside cottage as well. So this instantly upgrades the rock areas by 10. Housing area by 10, and then what? I feel right now we actually have a lot more stone, doesn't it? Feels that way. I don't feel like I have too many houses yet, but the local cafe would kind of make sense around the airport area too, if I'm building logistically, right? You know what? Let's keep building logistically. Hopefully that doesn't bite me in the ass, but I, I kind of want to keep it this way. So if I'm going to build houses over here, as I mentioned, I would, right? Is that what I said? I did say that. Um, Let's rotate you. Hmm, this is fine. Forest here, and I'm getting excited because we're about to complete this one right there. Let's go. Let's zoom on in here and see what we've done here so far. I love games that just let you zoom on in this far in. Love that. Um, is that what do we have here? A little like hunting area? Any animals just yet? No animals? Usually we have like a frog start showing up. Oh, we got some kitty cats. Little kitty cat right there. I guess we built the town for the cats. Two kitty cats, at least. Now, one thing that we got right now is the mountainside airship upgrade. The one that we put down was one star. Now we have a two star boy. This will give us even more expansion as well. But at the moment, how about we start using the rockets that we built to double our points for the future? That way we guarantee more cards and continue our run. So let's do the hillside mine. And luckily for us, since we have a nice little rocky area here, it'll work out splendidly, I would say. As a matter of fact, let's uh, do it uh, this way or this way. We'll do it that way, too. Just kind of surround this little one house. Sure. We'll just pretend like the dude that lives here is the guy who runs the mine. More houses. Yes, my housing area is through here. Through there. That's completed. No. I've lost it for good, boys. And here's my rocks. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What do we got here? Little mini structure. So mini structure here is... Oop, 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 oop. One stone and grass around. Well, you know what? You know what? We might be able to link this up somewhere through here. So we do got... Yeah. This works. That works perfectly. So we have a little forested area down through this side still. Uh, grass and farmland. There it is. Perfect right there. Should have probably rotated a face over here to connect that, but that's fine. It still counts as it. And let's see here. This is going to be just about everything. Five versus fours. But since we do have some houses over there, you know, plus we got the water too, right? Let's rotate like, uh, that. Okay. And then grassland. Grassland fivers. Drop this niner here. Yeah, we could do that. But we also complete that right now by doing this. Although, again, if I want to continue the rock thing, I could put a rock there and there. So let's not close off that one. We'll place it through here instead. We have the geyser, we have the hillside quarry, and we have ourselves a fountain as well. The geyser could be kind of intriguing to just see it in action. You guys can see that blowing up into the skies and everything. We have the hillside quarry as well. Again, we have so many rocks, and because our mine gives us double points with rocks, the hillside core would be the perfect thing to synergize to get some high scores in there happening. But again, I'm, I'm focusing a bit more on just kind of like the aesthetic view for this video as opposed to just trying to get a high score. So, I mean, I would normally do this one for a fact, but aesthetically wise, let's go with this bad boy here. And let's make sure that we'll place it a uh, rock. It does require a rock. So, you know what? 
let's see <laughs> the guys arrive by the mine. Is that a good thing? I mean, I don't know. I can't say I'm too familiar with mines and geysers, but uh, we'll pretend like it won't bother the uh, operations right there going on a daily basis, huh? Goddamn, guys are going off all the time. Can't know a person just mine in peace. Rock boys, rock boys, rock boys, rock boys. And there's that. Completed. And then water. Here's our geyser. Reds it about. And now we could just put, again, we could put some water tiles right there if we like to, or just start building something else in between. A really weird seeing this, uh. Oh, speaking of, let me let me put down this little mini structure before we do another zoom in. Um, this is gonna be nothing but stones. Uh, so obviously I kinda wanna keep it around through here. Could I finagle this somehow to work? Yeah, that was gonna give us a fiver. Wait, 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 wait. I like this one. Hold up. Rotate. Oh, there it is. Plus ten. <laughs> that is what's up. Use the stones to our advantage. And then let's link up this with water. Okay. Okay. Now this one's gonna be intriguing. Could I actually make this one happen? I feel like by putting this dude here, I've screwed myself. Cause it, Rock Boy would be here. I'm not sure. I think I might have. I, I could re undo it if I want to. I could. But I'm not. You know what? If I screwed myself here in the future, then I've screwed myself there in that spot. I'll live. Maybe. Put that grass hand through there. And. There. We'll just call it, you know, a happy mistake. You know, that was the Bob Ross thing after all, right? You make a mistake, but then you, you live with it. You partake it. You don't shun the mistake. You make it part of yourself. You own that mistake. Let's see what we got here for structures. A silo. Doubles points for the future of farms, which we are building quite a few of. Instantly upgrades farms with the barn, and we have the small orchard as well. We haven't really done too much, I would say, with foresty areas. Um, so you know what? Let me get this silo up and running. Silo saying two grass, one farm, and one rocky. So, 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 so we can't, uh, nope, can't fit you through there. But, mm, trying to do this without necessarily breaking the connections that we have going on here. One, one rotation maybe this way? Uh, kinda, kinda. This rock that's just kinda there is bothering me a little bit. We'll see how we work with this rock tile that's there. We'll see. What if I was to hold off, perhaps, for uh, a little mini quest tile that has multiple rocks? Would that work? Yep. There is our silo. Excellent. Water, water, water. Yes, let's start, as I've mentioned, plugging up through here. Not yet for that stone. Water through there. And grassy boy, we have one spot here that we haven't plugged up. Let's plug it up finally. Okay, we're 50 50 ish away from our next one. We have 50 cards. We'll easily get to the next structure, no problem. So we're, we're good there. Oh, I haven't completed you, have I? Uh, I mean, I could complete you now, right? Yeah. I can complete you there. No, I gotta be here. That's fine. Small Forester Lodge instantly places plus 10 grass. Instantly upgrades 10 times rock area. Let me get the hillside cottage just with maybe I'm hoping this is a reach on my part, but maybe that'll somehow multiply enough stones to get that one tile that's right there that I can't seem to complete. 43! Yes, sir! And guess what we've done? Guess what we just did? Let's go! I told you, let's hold off. Let's hold off. You never know what might happen. You never know what might happen. And I held off long enough, he actually got it. And it refilled myself over here in the process. Oh, man. It's something, you know, <laughs> this game, when I was playing this off camera for myself to learn the basics, so, you know, I can make this video and, like, I'm not over here, like, how does this work? I found myself that happening quite a bit, where I'd be like, something would just happen in front of me, be like, yo! It's supposed to be a chill game, but I still got those yo moments. And that's always a good thing to have the yo moments, you know? You can't live life without the yo moment. Uh, we still need a house and we still need water for that. Grassy boys. Uh, let's go with a little bit of grassy down through that side. This is a bit of everything here, too. Let's see down through that. And you know what? Let's finally get rid of this bad boy, too. Boom. 
And there it is. There's our bell tower. Complete. Um, I think this is almost a perfect spot, but let me just also do this. <laughs> Again, I gotta find a way to stop. I don't want to stop. All right, let, let me just get the 1300, right? Just Is that okay with you guys? Let me just get a 1300, okay? Look, we'll just get the 1300 and we'll stop, right? We're not gonna continue, even if the game throws another special thing my way. We're not gonna continue. It's like a, you know what this is? This is a gotcha game. <laughs> this is a gotcha in disguise, I'm telling you. Uh, gotta, gotta min-max my gotcha here. I just, just place it there, right? Just stop it. No! 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 <laughs> Let's just see it. Improve silo. Okay, you, you saw it. Don't. Get out of here. Stop it. Go back. I, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to play, I don't want to give you money anymore, gotcha. I'm going broke. All right, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna wrap it up here. Let's, uh, Hide UI. Let's zoom on in. Let's see what's happening. This has been Panorama. I mentioned it is a type of game where you could be like, oh, it's just uh, just uh, one more. It's another little minute. My bird kind over here, little scarecrow field. If we hit space, by the way, we could highlight all the animals out there as well. So we got crows. We got kitty cats. If we go to the water area, we should see some frogs. We got some seagull actions over here. He's just hanging out over there. Look at this guy. He's having a good time. Having himself a good time. Got some Butterfree's over here using sleeping powder. And that's the perfect analogy for this game. Butterfree using sleeping powder. It's so zen. It's so relaxing. But that is what you guys get. This has been Panorama. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. As I mentioned, full release. No early access here with this one. Just a full on thing. Down below in the description will be a link for the Steam release. If you guys enjoyed it, definitely check it out for yourselves. Now available as of May 9th. I'll catch you guys next time.